how does it feel to be back and seeing all the support and everything like that? Um, I feel good, you know, great. Um, I was back at home in Cincinnati and just, I guess you could say the more I come back and people, you know, remind me that I'm a champ, the more they feel real, you know, just after winning it, it still really hasn't sunk in yet. So, I mean, like when you think about it and you think that uh, it's been a few years and now you're a Super Bowl champion, I mean, what's that like? Oh, it's a great feeling, but I, I feel... I feel like I'm still reaching for something else. Like I don't feel like I've done enough, you know. I feel like it's just a, you know, it's just a little piece. I feel like I got more to offer. So I guess, I guess you could say that I'm still home. When's the last time you've been on campus? Ooh, uh, I could say that building that looked like it's going into the ground, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't there at all. So. <laughs> So I think maybe, I want to say two years maybe, I'll say about two years. Talk about this year, you started out with the 49ers, then the Broncos, all of a sudden you're up in the furthest part about the north part of the country you can go, in a football crazy town, Oh man! and then you end up going to the Super Bowl and winning. Can you just talk about the journey this year? Um, well, the journey, it started off great, you know, just coming back to San Fran, knowing that, you know, they invited me back. And um, during the offseason, I worked my tail off, learning the plays, just, you know, trying to fit in the system coming in my second year. Because um, that was the main thing they told me to focus on, was just come back prepared. Okay, I, think, I thought I came back very well prepared, had a great preseason. Um, you know, at, at, at that point in time, I felt like I was, you know, in San Fran. And next, you know, after the first game, you know, going into the second game, which was playing the Super Bowl champs at the time, which was the Saints, and they waved me, and you know, they said it's gonna bring me back, and they didn't bring me back, and then I got, you know, picked up by Denver, and I was out there at Denver. I felt like that was gonna be my new home. Um, they didn't have that many outside linebackers. They kind of added me and wanted me to come there and kind of bring a you know extra spark to to their team and. Uh, like, like San Fran, I, after a couple of days, I mean, a couple of weeks on the practice squad, they brought me up for a game. Someone got hurt, and um, they moved me down. Just a numbers game, and then, you know, Green Bay called me. Um, actually, me and my agent, we were, um, I was dropping him off at the airport, and he, he, he was telling me, you know, go ahead and just go sign a, the practice squad contract for Denver. And I was telling him, like, no, man, that's not signed yet. Maybe somebody will call, because this was doing the, you know, the waiver 24 hour. And he was like, nah, just go ahead and sign it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to sign it. So as I was dropping him off, and I was driving back to my um, apartment, he gave me a call. And I'm, you know, and he's like, you're a Green Bay Packer. And I was like, what? Are you serious? He's like, dude, you are a Green Bay Packer. Did you go sign that paper? I was like, no, I did. He's like, well, pack up because you're flying out. And um, after I got to Green Bay, it was just, you just knew something was special with that team and just, uh, um, just the atmosphere. It, it just really felt like, I was finally in the NFL. I felt like it was, it was, it, it was a family, you know. And I got there, and the guys treated me well. A. Rod was awesome, you know. Donald Driver, a lot of the old vets, they, they kind of just, you know, just, just accepted me as, I, as I, if I was their brother. And, um, and then just, just the journey that we took, you know, with the injuries, and just, it, you could tell that that team was special. You know, once you got there, you knew that something special was going to happen to this team, and unfortunately, it was the Super Bowl. And, um, it was just a great journey, and, I, I, and I'm very, very blessed to be able to be on part of that team and you know, go down to history with that team. Guys. This, uh, this photo of Sports Illustrated, I mean, can you take us back to that moment? Um, um, yeah. uh, I, you know what? I seen, I seen the flashes, and I seen this guy with this big camera, but you know, I didn't know what was I just thought he'd take pictures. It was just as soon as I grabbed the newspaper and the stuff was falling, I just, just, just raised up. And the whole time I'm thinking, uh, you know, I made it. You know, I, I, I finally accomplished one of my goals. And next you know, I see flash, flash, flash. And I'm just smiling. And next you know, a couple days later, people call me, You in Sports Illustrated? I'm like, What? What are you talking about? You know, you in Sports Illustrated? I'm like, Stop. You know, I'm telling everybody, Stop playing. You know, next thing you know, I look at Sports Illustrated, so big, just a big picture of me and Sports Illustrated. It, it was just, 
I guess it was just my time, you know. <laughs> I also had got a picture with Will I Am that he posted up on Twitter, so it was just my night for pictures, I guess. <laughs> Has pro football been what you expected it to be, or were some things about it that surprised you? Um, I'll say what surprised me most is how much work after that, how much time you have to take to, you know, kind of keep your body in shape, you know, protect, protect your body by, by the ways you eat, you know, just looking at guys like Patrick Willis, this guy never ate fried food, you know, it was just simply, you know, sad, man. And for him to be that big, and, you know, just to play the game and play, I, I, I kind of realized how important it really is to eat. And I say knowing defense and offense is something that I've kind of started to learn just formations. And because um, when I was here, you know, it was really just brush and um, <laughs> drop every once in a while. But once you get to lead, you know, it's, it's different. You know, you got to learn the formations. You got to really learn the game of football. And I think that's what I'm doing right now, which is great. I got a great coach, you know, Coach Green. You know, he's, he's what, mm -hmm. third on the all time list for sacks. So I, got a, I have a great teacher, you know. Don Cape is a great D coordinator, and you know, just a great staff. So I'm learning a lot more about football, definitely. All the things that have happened after the Super Bowl win, both right after the game, going home, stuff like that. What stuck out the most in your mind? Um, just how much I guess you are more of a superstar, even though you. I feel like I won't say I didn't do anything, but I feel like. I didn't really contribute like I would like to, you know, going through the, you know, tour days, you know, going through sweat and tears, and, you know, actually getting on the defense and, you know, actually making plays. Um, that's why I kind of feel like I still, you know, I'm still home, but I still got a lot more to show. And um, I guess just, just the, I don't want to say hype, but just the, the love that I'm getting, you know, I, I'm loving the love that I'm getting from just the schools, you know, my high school, my teachers. It's just been real awesome, and it's something that I've, I've always wanted, and now that I have the opportunity to really be kind of like a role model, it's kind of, it's a great feeling. It's, it's, really, it's really a blessing, honestly. When you, we were talking about last season, when you were uh, waived by the 49ers, when you talk a little bit about the emotion, I mean, that the team you signed with and been with, and suddenly you kind of divorced from it. Yeah, it was, um, it was really tough. I mean, you know, because you, because the relationships that you build, you know, with your rookie class, it, it was just like, you know, being at BG my freshman year, and the guys I came in here with, and the things that we went through, you know, flipping ties, the blood and tears, you, 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 you get that relationship, that family bond, and, you know, when they, you know, when they kind of, you know, when they waved me, you know, the whole, you know, the whole team was kind of like, like, you know, heartbroken because the simple fact they knew how much blood and tears and passion that I had for the game and how, how hard I was fighting for this position. You know, at the time it was it was four linebackers. Add me five. So right then and there my eyes were short of making the team. But for me to make the team and then end up getting cut, it was just real emotional. But you know it's part of the game. You know, that's something I learned is that, you know, you, sometimes you can't get too emotional. You know, you can't let your emotions take take advantage of you in this game. It's a business. Really is. And, and when did you kind of get the sense that officially, uh, yeah, I'm in a business, I'm playing a game, but I'm in a business? I'll say after Denver, at least. Why do you say that? Um, just just because, I, once again, I felt that, you know, that when, I, when they brought me in, the first thing they told me is that, you know, we love you, you know, we, we've been watching you since college, and, you know, we're glad to have you. And at the time, they didn't have that many outside linebackers, so they had, like, maybe two, and count me three. So I'm thinking I had a great shot, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, it's going to this is going to be my new city, like Bowling Green. And, uh, and unfortunately, it didn't work out. And after that, I just had the mindset that, you know, just go out there and work your tail off and, and don't, let, don't let any any of this distract, distract you from keeping your mind focused and keeping your mind on the prize, which is being the best player you can and being the best person overall, you know, just, Take it for what it is. It's a business. At the end of the day, it's really business. So. And and then when you signed with Green Bay and you were talking about knowing it was something special, did you know or think Super Bowl special though? You know what? I I say probably after the first week of practice, I knew we was gonna be able to go far. You know, Super Bowl something, being a champion, something I I've always dreamed of, but 
you just don't know that feeling unless you've been around a, a championship team or if you've been a champion. I've never been a champion, so at that time, that championship environment, I didn't know it was a championship environment. I just thought it was family. It was a great atmosphere. It was something that, you know, I hate to say when I was in Denver and San Fran, I didn't, just didn't feel. Well, you mentioned coming back to campus and being a little bit from anything. You're going to be a part of one of the final games at Anderson Arena. From your time at Bowling Green, maybe attending the game or anything, do you have any fond memories of the Anderson Arena? Um, we had a um, we had a talent show. It was a, I think it was a talent show, and uh, the football team we had to come up with an app. We came up with like a dance routine, like stump the yard. And that was outside of that, that, you know, that was in the arena, uh, Anderson, and that was probably my best moment ever. That's when like mostly everybody that I you know came with, came in here with, you know, that's the last memory I have of all of us together. So that memory right there. City of Bowling Green, anything like Green Bay? Um, yeah, it, it reminds me definitely much of Green Bay. It's small, you know, the city is. It's surrounded by football and uh, great fans. Great fans and uh, it's cold. <laughs> In the wind to get to it, I'll tell you, no hills. It is, I'm telling you, once I landed at <laughs> a small airport <laughs> and I walked out there, I was like, well, we you know, all over there. I guess that's, I guess I, I feel that maybe this is the team where I, you know, I, I step up and become, you know, a great player such as I did here at Boulder Green. I figured once I, when I got here, well, I mean, a lot of people didn't think I was going to be as good as I turned out to be. And I think that's what kind of what people were, you know, kind of saying now and looking now that, you know, I'm just probably going to go make it. I ain't good enough. I ain't big enough. And once again, I'm always, 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 always love to prove everybody wrong. What's up? Was there anything about the collective bargaining? Uh, any thoughts on that? I mean, here you are, you won a Super Bowl, but then the, the future is kind of uncertain with the collective bargaining. Yeah, as of right now, um, all they done, you know, told and we discussed is that, you know, we're just trying to reach an agreement and, uh, as soon as possible because, you know, really don't know, I don't think nobody really wants to go on the strikeout just because it's, it's, um, it's football, you know, it's, it's, it's people's lives, it's people's entertainment, it's, um, it's something that I guess we need. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely, I feel that, I honestly feel that, that we're probably not going to go into a lockout, but then again, you never know. Do you have a contract for next year or are you still waiting? Yes, I actually have one more year game back. So. Darrell, we also talk a little bit about special teams. Did you play much special teams here? Um, actually, uh, oh, you talk, the great, uh, no, first here at BG, and then obviously that was part of your role oh. at, at Green Bay. Um, yeah, Green Bay, I mean, Bowling Green, yes. I played um, played a little bit of kickoff, not kickoff return, and um, not even punt, punt return. I said I played kickoff and punt return. Okay. But obviously now that's part of your gig at Green right. Bay, isn't it? Will you talk a little bit about adding that? Um, just, I guess, as a rookie, if you're not a first-round draft pick or second round, just a big-time guy, you know, um, Coming in as special teams, that's the only way to making a team. And at first, I didn't, I didn't take that seriously. I thought I could just come in and practice and get sacks and you know, keep me on the team. That's not how it goes. You know, it's, it's what you do on special teams. Let them know that they can trust you and that you can make plays. And I feel that a lot of people don't know in the NFL, the hardest, the hardest play is special teams. You know, I think everybody thinks special teams are easy. That's, hard, that's the hardest. I think if you play special teams, you play offense and defense easy. You know. I learned how important really special teams was because if you look at the stacks of the Super Bowl, whenever we kicked the ball off to them, they they were probably average at the 22, 22 or 23. And that's important for field, for field position, for our defense, you know. And uh, it's, it's really important. And uh, I learned that. I love special teams. I was I made special team player of the week against San Fran when we played them. Um, I had a big hit. I, um, I got, got a pair of gloves for Big Head against the Falcons. So I, I enjoy my, my role on special teams. I just want to do a little bit more on defense. You know, I feel that I, I still got a lot more to add to you know, defense too. Also special teams. So 
Fran, was that even more special? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think at that time, I probably had made, I had probably been up maybe two games. I was on the active roster, but, you know, on the 45 dress. So you got 53 on the active squad, but 45 dress. And I think that was like my second game of dressing. And they told me that I needed, you know, I needed to prove something, you know, to be, you know, stay on this team. And that was the only thing I was thinking of is San Fran was, you know, I felt like they betrayed me, let me go. I was kind of heartbroken and Green Bay. I had to prove something. I had to show them that I'm a great player and I could play this game. I went out there, had three tackles, and uh, I said, you know, you know, we won the game. And I came in the morning and they got a big picture of me, you know, walking across the field and said I was special teams player of the week. And they said they're glad to have me.